And let's go into our Wuji stance. Feet shoulder width apart. Place your feet flat on the floor so every part of your foot can feel the ground, feel connected to the earth. Soften the knees, just let them bend slightly. Bring the hips slightly forward. Actually point the coccyx straight down towards the floor. Let your shoulders be rounded, relaxed, slightly in front. Arms come around in front. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upward, elongating the spine. Tuck the chin in. If you can remember to put the tongue to the roof of the mouth, lightly behind the teeth. Breathing in and out through the nose. Nice deep abdominal breathing. So as you breathe in, the stomach expands outward, acting like a bellows, pulling the breath all the way down. And then you pause. And on the exhalation, the stomach moves towards the spine, pushing the breath all the way up and out. And then you pause again. Just let your feet feel like they're sinking into the ground, sending the roots deep into the earth. So the earth rise up to meet your feet. Focus on the breath. Let's start with the first part of the summer dalian. If you remember, that's a practice that in theory you should be doing every day. Um, if you don't remember what it is, the video is on the website under videos. So let's rub our hands together. Get nice and warm. Stimulating the loud gun points in the palms. Then come up the nose, the forehead, and then down around the temples. Just give yourself a nice face washing. Try to feel the warmth from your hands penetrating into your face. And just go ahead and put your hands up over your eyes, leaving them slightly cupped so that your eyes are not pressing against the palms. And just breathe that energy in.
Good, come up over the top of your head, round the temples, turn to the back of the hands, follow the jawline, and come back up the face, over the top again. One more time. Bring the hands down to the heart, to the middle Dantian. And just feel that energy leaving the Lao Gung points in your palms going into the heart. Feel the warmth, feel the love. Let's stimulate now the heart meridian and the small intestine meridian. So we're gonna push down the outside arm, especially focusing on the area of the pinky. Now we're gonna flip over and come up the outside of the arm, to the shoulder and down. And just do that a couple of times. Clearing the pathways. Summer is the fire element of which the heart is the yin organ. And the small intestine is the yan organ. One more time and just slide across. And now the same on the opposite arm. One more time. Take your right hand and just go up and down the side here. You have a nice rub along the ribs. Now do the left side. Purposely not mirroring you. Good. Put your hands in front of your hips. Bring them up the rib cage, all the way to the chest and down. One more, good, come down to just below the belly button, one hand over the other, come up the right, down the left, turn nice big circles, coming all the way up to the diaphragm, going down below the belly button. And reverse. Go ahead and bring your hands behind you, behind you onto the kidneys. Give those a nice rub. So 
we're now gonna do kind of the same thing we did with the arm, we'll do with both hands. We're gonna go down the outside, around the toes, up the inside into the quad, and then back to the kidneys. One more. Good. Put your hands down towards the ground. Try to feel that connection to the earth. Now make, see if you could feel like two balloons under your hands. Let's start off with just very simple. We're gonna press those balloons as we sink down a bit and then let the balloons lift us back up. So we breathe in as we come up, breathe out as we go down. Now let's try a little cloud walking. So we're gonna push down on one side and lift with the other side, just back and forth. Try to engage the hands so you're pushing down. One more time. Go ahead, settle it down. Bringing down the heavens, palms up, breathe in, gather the energy, breathe out, push that energy down the body. Twice more. Good, bring your left hand up, palm facing towards the head, right hand, palm facing up. And just lean to the right with the stretch all along the rib cage. Breathe in back to the center and just kind of let the arms flop and change positions as you breathe out getting the stretch on the other side of the rib cage. And just try to make this nice and rhythmic, nice and flowy. Relax the hands. Couple more. Last one. Good. Bring the hands around as if you're holding a large beach ball. And just lift it to the sky and look up. And then lower it to the ground. Lift it back up, breathing in. Breathe out as it goes down. Make sure to not lock out your knees.
and bring it back up to the waist. Let's do a twist that we haven't done in a while. Take your left hand, put it in front of your chest, palm facing to the side. Take your right hand and put it behind you, fingers facing up. And we're gonna turn piece by piece. So you're gonna to turn to the right, just basically from the waist first. Then from the mid back, then the shoulders, then look over the shoulder, get a little more stretch. Then come back the same way, the head first, then the shoulders, then the mid back, and then the waist. Do that a couple more times. Use that arm behind you to really feel which part of your spine is turning so you can control it. The hand in front never changes position. It's all from turning the spine. One more time. Good, come back to the center and switch hands. And same thing, turn first in the waist, the mid back, upper back shoulders, and then the neck. Then the neck straightens, the shoulders straighten, the mid back, lower back. One more. Good, drop the arms. Nice big shoulder rolls. So we're gonna do more of it like a square. You lift the shoulders up first, collapsing the chest. So they come up, notice the palms are facing you. Bring them up, bring them back, then turn palms out, open the chest, drop them down, bring them forward. Now kind of put that all together. So you collapse the chest, bring it up, open the chest as it goes down, rotating the hands. One more time, and then we'll reverse. So we go back and open first, then come up, collapse the chest, go down. One more, good. Take your left hand, bring it up behind your head, cradle your head in that hand. Your right hand put over the Ming Men point with the palm facing out. We're gonna look up and back to breathe in. 
breathe out, come across the body and pull slightly down. So we breathe in, breathe out. It's kind of a variation on Nine ghosts pulling swords, part of the Ji Jin Jing. One more time. and switch hands. Breathe in and look up and back. Breathe out as you look down and across. One last time. Come back to center, relax. Heart to the sky, let the hands just float up like a giant bird. Open the chest, look up at the ceiling, breathe in that in energy. Imagine the sun's rays beating down on you, feeling that warmth as you absorb that energy, that warmth. Breathe out, prayer position, and squeeze the chest, collapse the chest. Breathe out. One more time. Let's go into pressing palms. So make sure your feet are at a comfortable distance. We're gonna open. Same way, bring the palms together. And then as the hands come down, sink down. and then scoop and start over. When you're sinking down, make sure you're not pushing your knees forward, that you're leaning back slightly, that your knees are following the angle of the feet and their knees are never going out over the toes. So you just kind of keep moving till you find that sweet spot where you're comfortable, where your knees are lining up right. And then we just go right through. One more time. Good, come up, keep the feet the way they are. Hopefully you're comfortable with this stance now. That's the horse riding stance. We're gonna do drawing the bow. 
So let's do this version. There are a bunch of different ones. This one, the forearms come together, the palms are facing you. As you drop down, the wrists cross, left hand pulls the bow to the shoulder while the right hand goes out, palm faces out, but the fingers are curled except for the pointer finger and the thumb. And you're looking right along that line. Then breathe in, come back to the starting point. Breathe out, we go to the opposite side. One more each side. Bring it down. Bring the feet fairly close together. Bring the energy up to the lungs as you come up onto your toes. Breathing in and then breathe out. Go back to flat feet, pushing the energy down. So we breathe in. Up as high as you can, comfortably on your toes, and then back down. Find that focal point to maintain your balance. And just focus on that. One more. Let your left hand come up with your right leg and just kind of march in place as we switch side to side. You can tap or if you have the flexibility, you can bring your elbow to the opposite. You want to make that connection to the opposite side of the body. A couple more. And slow it down. Good. Put our hands on our hips, do some nice big hip rotations. So make sure you push out to the side and then forward with the hips. So the shoulders and the head hardly even move. It's all out of the midsection. And reverse. Slow it down. Just let your hands drop. Let them come up to about shoulder with shoulder height drop back down. To breathe in, the hands float up, or I should say the wrists. The hands are kind of just long for the ride. Flying. Try to get into that state of Zen where it doesn't even feel like you're trying to lift your arms. They just come up with the breath. Close your eyes, breathe in, the arms float up, pause, and then you breathe out, the arms float down.
Let's do one of the crane moves. So bring your feet together. We're gonna go to shoulder height. And then we're gonna go up over the head. Wrists cross and then down. So shoulder height, down. All the way up, down. One more time and then we're gonna drop all the way down. So we go shoulder height, go all the way up. Now drop down and fold the knees. Open back up like a giant bird. Breathe in, breathe out, come all the way down and fold the knees. One more time. Put feet a bit wider. Let the hands settle down. Let the hands come back, do a swan dive basically. Open the chest to the sky, bring the hands around and just let yourself drop. Let everything relax, the head, the neck, shoulders, the back. The only place you're gonna feel tension is in the back of the legs. Each time you breathe out, see if you can get a little closer to the ground. We're gonna go into the wave. So as you breathe in, roll the back up, nice and slowly. Start from the bottom, kind of stack the vertebra at the bottom first, then the mid back, then the shoulders, then the neck, lean back slightly. And then let your body just collapse down as you breathe out. Breathe in. As you come up, vertebra by vertebra. One more time, come all the way up, nice and slow, don't speed it. Let everything kind of fall into place. Good. Bring your feet a little closer together. Now we're gonna do the same kind of movement. We're not gonna drop as low. So we're just gonna let our head lean forward and just get the spine to kind of snake up and down. Let's put our hands on our kidneys while we do this. There's one teacher who teaches this movement as a complete standalone for all kinds of issues. And he's had some remarkable results. He suggests you do this every day, several times a day.
Get your hips going. Leading with the chin. Breathing in as you come up. Breathing out as you go down. One more time. Good, let your hands drop. And just check in for a moment. Look inwardly. Try to notice where the energy is moving through the body, where it's not. Identifying areas of stagnation or blockage, muscle tension, pain. Just to take a moment to identify them. Don't give them any moments thought other than just kind of spotlighting them. Take your left hand, put it back over the Ming Men. With the right hand, scoop up the energy. Bring it around and then palm facing out, come down in front of the area between your eyebrows. And just hold that for a moment, absorb the energy. Yin tongue point, the third eye. Now we're going to float it up, connecting to the energy of the universe. Turn the palm so it's now facing the head, push it down through the Ming Men point. Continue to look forward to float down the face. The neck. The chest. Diaphragm, lungs. The abdomen. All the organs. The pelvic region down the legs into the ground and then we switch so this hand now scoops up the energy breathe in bring it in front of the in tongue point it's a form of bone marrow cleansing Breathe out as you push up, connect to the universe. Breathe in. Breathe out as you slowly work your way down and then just breathe normally, comfortably. Allow the hand to just float very slowly down, scanning the body. Finding those areas of energetic blockages or stagnation, and then moving that energy all the way through your body, down your legs into the ground. Let's switch again. Gathering the energy, we'll go a little faster this time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. It's 
switch. One more time, each side, scooping up the energy. Good, and let both hands come forward. Bring them up to your chest. Let your hips go out as your hands float out. And your hips come forward as the palms go up. Breathe in as you pull the energy into your body. Breathe out as you take energy you no longer need that no longer serves you and send it out to be recycled into the earth. Great bear swims in the ocean. Now we're going to do the same movement, but instead of going out, we're going to go up. So it's One more time. Good, let the hands drop. One hand at a time, sweeps out, gather the energy, bring it into the lower Dantian. Then you sweep to the other side, gathering the chi. Try to rotate the hand as you move through the motion. One more time each side, then we're going to go to the middle Dantian. So the next one, come up higher. Just try to feel and picture gathering the energy, bringing it in to the Dantian, and then sending out in energy no longer serves you, no longer needed.
One more time each side. This time, just bring it in to the upper Dantian. Here, we're not rotating the hands. We're just kind of moving back and forth. Feel the energy moving in through the yin tongue point. One more time each side. Good, bringing down the heavens. Palms up, breathe in, gather that energy. Breathe out, push it down through the top of the head, the Bai Hui point, down the torso, down the legs all the way into the ground. Twice more. Bring the hands down so again we make connection to the earth. Bring the feet in. And you're just going to use your hands just a little bit to give you a lift. We're going to come up onto the toes as we breathe in. And then down as we breathe out. One more time. Good. Feet back out to about shoulder width apart. Left hand scoops up the energy as it comes back around, pushes the energy into your head, takes what you no longer need, sends it out, the opposite arm, out the fingers. Then that hand sweeps back, gathers energy, bringing it into the head and out. Repulse the monkey. One more. Finish by holding the chi ball rather than pushing it out. Feel that chi ball. Feel that energy. Take that energy ball, lift it up over your head. Let your head go into that ball. Feel the energy all around your head dropping it down into your neck, your shoulders, your chest, bringing it down to the hips, the waist as your feet come together, push it all the way down your legs into the ground. Bring your hands one over the other over your lower Dantian. Feel all that energy coming out of your palms, flooding that area of the lower Dantian. And just let your body rock and sway as that energy spirals down your legs and up your torso. And as it moves through your body, it's dispelling any darkness, any energetic stagnation or blockages, removing negative thoughts and emotions, filling every part of your body with a warm, loving light. You just feel every part of your body aglow with this energy. Let that energy expand beyond your physical body, encasing you in an energetic cocoon And as you float weightlessly inside this cocoon, begin to notice what it feels like to be safe.
what it feels like to be healthy. What it feels like to be at peace. Take a deep breath in, gather those feelings, and take them with you for the rest of the day.